What's up guys? I uh, want to give you a little update. Uh, something I just did. Um, it was really a, a, a test. I thought it was going to work. Um, but when it came down to it, I haven't seen any videos on it. So I thought I'd just share with you. Uh, as you can see, I got the pan optics running. Uh, so I did the, I installed Garmin pan optics. Uh, bought a nice package from, uh, it was uh, one of those packages from the bass tank. Um, those guys are great, by the way. What I did though, uh, my power source, set a hook up to my battery, as you can see kind of right here. I'm running a um, running on the C light, and I'm running a I'm running a China Milwaukee battery, just kind of testing those out, uh, see how they they do compared to the real ones. Uh, but basically, mount my bla uh, black box in there, um, mount the black box inside the uh, driver side um, rod box, and uh, that's my power source. That's that's everything as far as when it comes down to. Uh, powering the graph and powering the black box that's there. Now, one thing I did a little bit different um, because I wanted, I figured, you know, what if I'm on a big run? Um, I don't know, just just thought it'd be a little different situation. So to take that little battery in and out, I mounted, and I got to finalize this, but I mounted a switch. So that switch right there, when I, when I clean this all up, that switch just powers uh, the black box. So the graph will stay on. Um, and it's just, you'll still have your power source run. Like I said, run the graph, but it just flips the black box off. So it'll turn that uh, transducer off. That's kind of why I did it. I thought it'd be something different. Hadn't seen it out there. Thought I'd share it. Uh, one thing I will tell you. So we're going to look at the graph here. It's showing 18.5 volts. Uh, I had this thing running. I just wanted to see kind of what, uh, how these batteries worked. Uh, it's been a little over an hour. Um, I'd say about an hour and 20 minutes, roughly. And, uh, it started out actually those Milwaukee, that's a China mill, uh, one, of, uh, that's, that's a generic knockoff made Milwaukee battery that started out at 20 volts on the graph. Uh, cause Garmin's that, you know, they don't need a voltage regulator. Lawrence's they do, uh, C light, that company that makes this stuff. They have a voltage, a voltage regulator that you can buy if you have a uh, Lawrence active target, but Garmin's can handle 10 to 30 volts. So, being that they could handle it that's why i went with uh, that and and uh, it was readily available the active targets all pre-order so i wanted something now to install and um so anyway all it boils down to is that battery is giving me looks like i got about hour 20 minutes to drop 1.4 1.5 uh volts an hour and 20 minutes that's a that's a five uh six amp hour uh knockoff one probably not going to get like what a, a true you know what's your you know what's your real ones you know your real milwaukee's probably won't get uh the true power source you know that's a probably a better a little a little bit better uh cell technology inside with those batteries they, they put inside there but we're gonna just see see what those are like so i'll compare them both but yeah i just want to give you guys an update I haven't seen anybody really uh there's one person that talked about sea light that's where i got the idea that was a uh, like kansas angle angling um i don't know he's got a sweet channel uh catching tons of crappie white bass etc but that's where I got the idea on the sea light. And, um, and then from there, like I said, just using the Milwaukee batteries and then, uh, adding the switch up front, you know, I ran 14 gauge wire too. That's the big thing. It's saying, uh, running different. So that's going to be interesting to see how that worked. So I just ran 14, 14 gauge wire back to the power source, uh, and then spliced in that switch. Uh, I use all, I use all waterproof, um, uh, connections is how I do that. Uh, I do got a, a little temporary connection in there to, to kind of splice all the wires together. I got to do that. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of splicing the three together, bringing them all together. I didn't have a, a connection for that, but yeah, so we're just going to test this out, see how it works. Uh, we're going to button it up tomorrow, but thought I'd throw this video out there for everybody who's got a pan optics who, uh, you know, maybe has it straight to the battery sources in the back, you know, if they're starting battery, this is a good alternative. It looks like it's going to work, uh, work really well. And then adding the switch just seems like it's an easier way to, to flip off that switch and not get all that big power drain from that box. Um, and, and you'll be able to be able to make long runs and not worry about, you know, you know, make a 20, 30 minute run, not drain some volts out of your, uh, out of that battery. So just, just way to be a little more efficient. So wanted to put it out there for you guys. Have a great evening and, uh, till the next.